Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for March for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to look into your own personal situation, go ahead and check out the description box below where you'll find my email address and all of the readings that I offer. Yes, if you would like to hit me up on Facebook, you can do that at Divine Conversations 2711. And you can find me on Instagram as Divine underscore Conversations. So we are going to be doing things a little bit differently this month. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So I'm actually going to be starting the reading. Well, other than, you know, me recording it like this so you can see my face, I am going to be starting the reading with an oracle card from the Unicorn Oracle deck. Normally, I do that at the end, but I want to do that now in the beginning as like to set the tone of your reading to get the general idea of the energies for you for the month. And then I'm going to be pulling the regular tarot spread um, from the Golden Universal Tarot. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all of all involved for the month of March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Sorry, I'm going to throw my phone. It's distracting me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, Cancer. Let's see what your Oracle card is for the month. What is the theme of your month for all my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let's see what we've got here for you, Cancer. Things feel, uh, things feel good. I feel like the, your energy feels very smooth. I feel like you're very much in the flow right now, um, which is nice. Here we go. You are very much in the flow, Cancer, because look at here. Your card is trust. That's beautiful, okay? Um, leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. And for the most part, yes, for some of you, there, you need to work on this energy of trust. And this would be a month for you to do that. But for others of you, for the most part, I feel like you're already in this energy, Cancer. And that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's you're very much going with the flow. You're really just in it for a good time. You're in for the ride. You're, ha you're enjoying the ride. Um, you may have really, you may have been really dealing with some pretty tough shit lately, but I feel like now by the time you're in March or as you move through March, um, you know, you're in a position where it's just like, Hey, I'm good. I mean, I don't need to worry about it. I know everything's going to be fine. I trust the universe. I trust myself. I know I'm happy. I'm happy within myself. I'm happy with who I am. I'm just ready to fly. I'm just ready to have a good time and enjoy my life, regardless of what other people have to say about it, or regardless of the circumstances that I found myself in the past, found your, I found myself in in the past is the narrative that I'm hearing. Um, and for the most part, whatever tough situations you dealt with in the past, Cancer, you really learned from them, okay? You've taken a hard look at yourself so far and you're just like, look, I'm good. I'm good. That's beautiful, Cancer. That's really beautiful. All right, last shuffle. The bridge didn't want to continue. And then we will see what we have here. Boop. All right, Cancer. Overall energy. You've got the devil. That is really very a stark contrasting energy here. But I feel like for you, the devil has been overcome. Ooh ringing in my ear. The devil has been overcome. Now, for some of you, the reason why you need to trust is because you are going to be faced with some challenges. Um, you're going to be tempted. I'm feeling a lot of temptation from this devil energy here. And for those of you that are already in this energies of trust, you're still, you could potentially be going through some temptation here, but I don't see, I really don't see it, um, derailing you that much. Um, and also the reason, the energy of this trusting energy here that needs to be acclimated or assimilated here is because there, there might be some situations coming up in March that are really going to maybe try and scare you off your path or scare you out of your stability. Um, and 
but don't honestly don't worry about it because you know the trust the trust the, the, the universe is here to help you okay it will always be here for you you just have to ask make sure that you ask for protection for healing for help assistance because the universe the angels your whatever however you identify with them they're not just going to interject without your express permission because of the law of free will, okay? You also could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Capricorn energy. And actually, Capricorn is the exact opposite to you in the Zodiac here. So um, there may be, you might wanna check on what's going on with Capricorn in your chart, um, where Capricorn is. Maybe there are some, that, that's you'll get some insight into where you need to be trust a little more in yourself or in the universe. Um, or there could be a Capricorn in your life or you have Capricorn in your chart. Okay. You also have the four of wands. You see, that's beautiful. Underneath that, you have the three of pentacles. And underneath that, you've got temperance, Cancer. This is beautiful. So this could be Sagittarian energy. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or maybe just another, another fire sign or another earth sign between the four of wands and the three of pentacles. But again, also you may have Cap um, 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 uh, Sagittarius in your chart. Now, You know, what this is really saying to me is in the face of whatever this devil energy represents for you, this could be codependency, this could be toxicity, this could be narcissism, this could be addiction, um, overindulgence is something I just heard. You may have been in a really overindulgent period in your life with um, trying to heal from any of the sorrows you might have been dealing with. But regardless of what this devil represents for you, you really have come out on top. Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands being an energy of solid foundation, maybe the home life, maybe you have a new apartment or a new home or a new place to live or just some sort of new financial stability, um, I heard specifically, or just some sort of um, a stability in general. Three of Pentacles is an energy of self-mastery, but also entrepreneurship. Some of you really are really diving into um, a brand new business venture, entrepreneurship for yourself, getting your, your um, financial uh, goals off the ground, um, really doing some very hard work self-mastery wise. And I really do feel like um, this overall energy is absolutely speaking to the self-mastery of the situation in the face of this devil energy here, especially with temperance that is underneath everything. Temperance here for you, Cancer, is talking about the balance, the re-alchemization of you. You really may find either in the beginning of this month, you may be already aware of this, or as you go throughout the month, you'll find that you are like a brand new person. Phoenix from the ashes risen, maybe. A brand new representation of who you are, a much more authentic and better acclimated and better grounded version of who you are. There's also um, an energy of patience, but I feel like that's very much in the past. Um, you've been patient with yourself or you've learned to be more patient with yourself. And that's beautiful. This is really beautiful energy starting off for you, Cancer. All right, so getting into the first set of surrounding energies, we're gonna, I'm going to be labeling this as the first half and the second half of your month, but energies are fluid, guys. It doesn't have to be that way. It could be all mixed and mingled and jumbled up in there. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I'm just for, um, so that we don't get so confused, I'm labeling it first half of the month, second half of the month, okay? So first set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, you've got the eight of cups. The eight of cups is definitely, an, it's obviously it's walking away here, but what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, is you're just leaving the shit behind you. You're just like, I'm over it, I'm done. I don't even wanna focus on that anymore. I don't even wanna even know about that any longer. I'm taking what, I'm, what I've learned with me and I am moving forward. Uh, there is really, uh, a, I'm, honestly, I'm gonna be straight up and honest, there is very much a nonchalant energy that I'm feeling here, but that is actually very well placed because um, you just straight up don't give a shit because of this devil energy. You're looking at this devil trying to tear you down and kind of just laughing in his face and turning around and going in the next, in the other direction, leaving this devil energy kind of like dumbfounded. Like, how did they just, how are they going to just do that like that? They can't just walk away from me like that. Oh yeah. Watch me, asshole. There you go. You see? Mm -hmm. That's so awesome, Cancer. Eight of Cups is coupled with, yeah. The nine of wands, you've had enough battered and bruised 
the wounded warrior. But this is, but you know, ironically, that with this nine of wands energy, even though you've really been through a tough period, it hasn't dimmed your shine. It hasn't stripped away any of your true joy. And instead of persevering in this sense right now, what this is saying to me is that you've just, you've had enough, you're done. You've gotten to the point where it's, you're not even about to let it progress to that 10 of wands energy where it's like, now you really have to let go of something. You're like, nah, fuck it. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> I love it, Cancer. This is beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you. You have the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's been some heartbreak. But again, I just feel like this is the past. This is something that you're overcoming here. Um, you could be dealing with some heartbreak. If, we're, if, if, if this hasn't really happened for you yet, if you're not entering into the month of March with this energy already, then I feel like this is coming on down the pipeline. So for that storyline, um, how this translates in this translates into you're being faced with an energy of potentially walking away from something. All right. But you're, you've been persevering. You are persevering. You've been fighting and fighting and fighting. And, you know, and, and in your mind, the eight of cups energy of walking away is like a last resort. And it looks like. Whether this is you, Cancer, or maybe for this is a for a cross watcher, if you've been dealing with a Cancerian that actually is very toxic and narcissistic, um, it looks like you're going to have that reason to walk away. Three of Swords. Okay? Three of Swords is coupled with the Seven of Cups. But, yeah, see, wow. Um, I, <laughs> You already have that reason to walk away, guys. You already have it, but you're surrounded by a bunch of smoke and mirrors, by a bunch of confusion. Whoever this person is, either this is this is um, the the Cancerian who is this who is representing this devil energy, or Cancer. Cancer. This is someone that you are associated with. Um, they're a heartbreaker, but they are they are someone that that really doesn't really care about somebody else and they call, they go off and do whatever it is they want to do regardless of how it hurts the other people around them but then they they try and cover it up they 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 bait and switch they throw out a bunch of smoke and mirrors they throw out a bunch of illusion to try and confuse you and ultimately get you back on their side and to get you to forgive them or get you to believe that they had nothing to do with it to begin with that is every you have you have every reason every reason to walk away from this person okay you don't need any more of a reason to do so if your intuition has been saying to you this is not good i need to let this go what do you need to do trust okay your challenge in the beginning of the month here you got the knight of pentacles see Mm, this is frustrating. The Knight of Pentacles energy is saying to me, this is, look, okay, this is mostly, I really feel like for the most part, this is on the Cancerian side, but it doesn't have to be because obviously this is a, a general reading. The energies could go either way. So it really could be the Cancerian that's actually pretty toxic and narcissistic and egotistical and whatnot, whatever. But it's the person that has been on the side of being faithful. The person that is being challenged with walking away from this situation um, is very loyal. Very, very loyal. And this is why I'm saying to you, this could be the Cancerian because Cancerians can be very, are very loyal when it comes to people that they love and people that they consider to be family. But this, your loyalty is to your detriment. I'm not gonna lie, it's to your detriment. This is, lo this is being loyal to a fault here. The challenge has been giving it everything you got, leaving no stone unturned. And that is a very valiant energy. I really, I, I, I commend that within you but it's at your own expense at this point. Instead of helping you build a greater foundation, it's actually doing the opposite. I'm seeing that it's chipping away at you. It's chipping away at your resolve, it's chipping away at your happiness, at your sanity, at your belief in yourself. <laughs> yeah, your sanity. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I'm not laughing at you, I'm more laughing with you. Uh, oof, okay, the Knight of Pentacles is coupled Whoa, the Knight of Cups, because you have an open heart, okay? Now, on the flip side, because the Knight of Cups keeps just keeps coming out, 
left and right, you guys. The Knight of Cups is talking about, on a collective scale, it's talking about this heart chakra awakening. And for the most part, what's been going on here is this person, whoever's been super loyal here, loyal to a fault, has been experiencing this heart chakra awakening in the sense that they're seeing a different point of view. And now it seems like for some of you, it might be a situation in which you've never really given it this much care and consideration or this much effort before. And you're questioning that. And that, in a sense, is another reason why you need to trust. Because even though, yes, this might be draining you or chipping away at you, what it's chipping away are things that need to fall away, first of all. But also, there is a lesson that needs to be learned here, okay? And I feel like that lesson is in vulnerability. Finding strength in vulnerability. Finding the, the beauty in being vulnerable. In allowing yourself to be vulnerable in the right places. And actually learning about where those right places to be vulnerable are. Okay? Your closing message or potential outcome for the first half of your month. You've got the sun, y'all. See, I told you, illumination. Everything is going to work out exactly as it needs to. Everything is going to be fine. You're learning. You're learning how to be vulnerable. You're learning how to trust. You're learning how or in which situations to allow yourself to be vulnerable, vulnerable in. You're learning about the beauty and all of the blessings that can come from allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Okay, that's, oh, wow, that's excellent. And you also could be dealing with a Leo energy um, or you could have Leo in your chart. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> the sun is coupled with the Hierophant, yes, learning, <laughs> learning. The Hierophant talks about structure, it talks about organization, uh, society, university, religion, status quo. It also talks about learning and teaching and learning. And this absolutely is about learning here. I do feel like there is an energy of pulling spirituality into your physical existence. Okay, the Hierophant is the uh, counterpart to the queen, not the queen, the high priestess. The high priestess symbolizing uh, uh, energetic s spirituality. Um, the Hierophant symbolizing physical 3D spirituality or and which also translates into religion okay um but here i really do feel like you're integrating more of your higher self more of your spirituality into your physical representation you're learning about what spirituality truly is uh, uh, as opposed to what religion has become and what religion um makes spirituality or sp people of, sp of a more spiritual nature rather than a religious nature what it has made them out to be, okay? I really feel like you're learning the balance there. You're gaining a new perspective throughout whatever this, is, this situation is for you, all right? And now you may have be in a position in which you have... Um, you, are already, you have already learned this and that's why you're very much, much more trusting, okay? Moving forward, in the second half of your month, first set of surrounding energies here, uh, yes, in the second half of your month, you have the Eight of Swords. Now, for some of you, this, uh, now you have, to, that's so interesting, you're, you have two Eights here. Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, and they're in the same position in the beginning of the, 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 the uh, first set of surrounding energies for the beginning of your month and now for the second half of your month. Eight of Swords. So, with all of this stuff that you guys are learning, um, or may have learned, I feel like it's going to put you in a position where you're feeling mentally trapped. Now, these, this is absolutely for those individuals that are like facing whether they should walk away or not. You may be taking this month to really understand what that is. The, the biggest thing that I'm getting with this Eight of Swords is that the, the elements that have helped you feel trapped are going to become very, very apparent for you. Uh, awareness. Awareness, the sun and the hierophant here, awareness, an awareness is the first step into healing something. It is also the first step into cutting yourself out of this entrapment. The beauty of the Eight of Swords, even though it's tumultuous and it's uncomfortable, maybe even unjust, the beauty of it is you at any point can cut yourself out of that. Is it easier said than done? Of course it is, but you still have the ability to cut yourself out, okay? And I really do feel like the elements that by which you have been in this mental entrapment are going to become aware to you. And that's gonna allow, give you, uh, uh, that's gonna allow you to cut yourself out of the situation. Eight of Swords is coupled with the Two of Wands. Yes! 
Yes, you see, illumination. You are going to be able to understand which way to go. Okay, now the awareness that is going to illuminate this mental entrapment for you is also going to help you come to a point where you're going to actually have to say to, my, say to yourself, wow, Freudian slip there, say to myself, ooh, I don't know, say to yourself, okay, I gotta, I gotta make a decision, I have, I'm at a crossroads, crossroads now, where do I go? That feels really great, it does, it feels really great, because it's better than being stuck, right? <laughs> way better second set of surrounding energies for the second half of your month cancer you have the chariot here you are you're showing up for your reading cancer i love it but you see this is going to be a situation in which you are now ready to move okay you're ready to make some moves you're ready to to i, I just heard stark contrast maybe that's a stark contrast to where you were in the past absolutely it's a stark contrast to where you were in the past because some of you i really feel like you've been immobilized you didn't know how to proceed. You didn't know what else to do but stick with what you knew. Well, I, I see you coming out of that now, Cancer, and moving forward with strength and gusto. Beautiful. The chariot is coupled with justice. I mean, need I say more? Justice will be served. You could be dealing with a Libra energy. You could have Libra in your chart. But, I mean, balance, integration. The balance of your emotions, the balance of your mental ability, your, 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 the, 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 the closing out of inner conflict maybe that's allowing you to come together within yourself to move forward. That is absolutely justice being served. The justice being served is also an, uh, 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 an opportunity to cut yourself free. Booyah. Your challenge for the second half of your month, Cancer, you've got two of pentacles. Okay. But this is definitely going to be an energy in which you are in between worlds. Maybe one foot in the, in the past, one foot in the future. You may not actively really be able to make too many moves too quickly. It may take some time, but that's something you're just going to have to keep in balance here. It's not an, it, I mean, it might be a little tough, but you got it. You can, you just trust that everything's going to work out to be okay. All right. The two of pentacles is coupled with the six of cups. My, my. But yes, I mean, this is kind of just corroborating what I just said, uh, being in between worlds, one foot in the past, one foot in the future. Um, you, there, especially if you are moving forward, if you have left a situation, a circumstance or a relationship, or you're in the process of doing so, like you make the decision to move on, you're going to have to juggle the past a little bit just because I feel like there are going to be some loose ends that are going to need to be tied up. This is specific for like, say, if you were in a marriage or just in a long-term relationship in which you have made investments with this person or with each other that now need to be divvied up. Okay, we could absolutely be talking about divorce here um, with the justice card. Uh, and we also could have been talking about a marriage here with the Hierophant, okay? But yeah, that's what I'm seeing here with this two of pentacles and the six of pentacles and the six of cups, excuse me. There's going to have, there's going to be a, a period where you're just going to have to juggle the past a little bit. It's not going to be such a clean break, not going to be able to be such a cut and run type of situation, but it's okay. All right. It's just a part of the process, a part of the release process. Your closing message or the potential outcome here for this end of your month, you have victory. Hallelujah. Six of Wands. That is so beautiful, Cancer. I really do see. I mean, some of you, you've already been in this situation. You've already been in this energy once you entered into the month of March. But by the end of the month of March, I do feel you guys are going to be very, very, very victorious. Go ahead and take that victory lap. Yeah. Feel very, feel good. Feel pride in yourself. Okay. Uh, the Six of Wands is coupled with, wow, the moon. And that's right underneath the sun. Good Lord. Well, now also the moon is, is your planet, your ruling planet. But look at that. You've got the sun in the closing section or potential outcome for the first half of your month. And you have the moon here in the second half of your month. But the moon is saying to you, you can feel victorious. Things are going to be a little bit shady. Um, you may not be able to see the full direction in front of you. But also, Cancer, as a, as a water sign, you guys are very, very intuitive, okay? I mean, I have in, in West, I'm sorry, in Eastern astrology, my moon is in cancer. So, hey, but um, 
even though things might be a little bit dark, you still will be victorious. Just use, make sure to use your intuition to really illuminate the way forward for you. But other than that, Cancer, you're really good. This feels very, very good for you. And also between the sun and the moon being balanced here or being here, that feels like a balance to me. Um, like, especially with this Six of Wands energy, because the Six of Wands energy can be um, super egoic, like needing to get off your high horse already, that kind of situation. Um, I, we do like, I do like to say, just, yes, go ahead and have your victory lap, but be careful because someone can come around and knock you off that horse, horse at any moment, right? But I feel like you have a real balance here between the sun and the moon energy to know that, yes, you've been victorious, but also to know that this is not the end. Um, there are still gonna be more challenges for you in the future, but you've done work. You've done some really good work so far. So that's an excellent, excellent energy. And I feel like you have that balance there to know, to be humble about it. There we go. To feel victorious, but still be humble about it. Okay, Cancer. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and shoot me an email. All of the information for that is in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah. Take care. Mwah! Bye. Bye.